Hey everyone, uh, this is Adriel from Tech Bible, and I'm here today to do a review of Bing. And Bing is um, Microsoft's search engine rival to Google. So, actually, what Microsoft calls Bing is um, a decision engine, and it's supposed to give you, it's supposed to make your decision making um, process easier by providing information in a you know, more streamlined and attractive, interactive manner. So, I thought I'd give you a review of Bing because recently Microsoft been doing some pretty awesome stuff. And stuff like this can pretty much fade to the to the back uh, background when it's not you know as popular as Google is. So let's begin this review. So as you can see, um, we're on Bing's homepage, and this is pretty much one of Bing's trademarks. They have an image on this page every single day that changes, and sometimes Microsoft shows in a, uh, a HTML5 video. And there's a lot of top process and that goes into, into um, putting this image of the day. So as you can see above there are different hyperlinks. There are explore, images, video, shopping, news, maps, travel, entertainment, search history, MSN, and Hotmail. And there are some links that are actually clickable here too. And below you can see stuff that's trending and popular and stuff you, you should check into. So there's Hot Tunes, there's, uh, yeah, Slap Me Some Skin, um, popular now. So let's begin this review by going to the popular now, and we'll see like James Earl Jones. So this takes you to the regular um, search web results, and you can you can see it um, Bing displays information in a nice, clean, and streamlined manner. And this is something that um, Google started to adopt, but just remember that it was started by Bing. Especially features like this, where you can just move your mouse here and get a short summary of your web of the website you're going to. So you know it's a correct thing. So, what Bing does, it, uh, it generates um, these things tabs based on what your search query is. So I searched um, James Earl Jones. So web results come up, news results come up, images come up, videos, blogs, etc., etc. So what's pretty particularly interesting here, um, besides these other tabs, is the celebrity tab. So usually you would have to go to a separate website to get information on someone like James Earl Jones, probably Wikipedia, or some other specific website, such as his own. So what Bing does is it pulls all the information that you might want to know about this person into a nice, clean, and streamlined um, fashion, so you can see everything in one spot. So for example, his biography, his connections, um, his filmography, images, videos, um, even a couple web snippets right there. see it's all nice and clean and if you want you can even share it to your Facebook so and besides these tabs there's sub tabs that relate to whatever tab you selected before so there's biography that we just saw mini one there so here's a full somewhat of a full um, biography for him it's all nice and clean and focused the transitions are neat and you know so here's his fil filmography. Most recently, this the Lion King 3 classic awards. And last but not least, connections. And you have just nice meter showing probably what type of relations you had, connections with, with various people. And this is something you're definitely not finding in Google. So I really appreciate Bing for the um, effort they've made with this. So let's go back to the home page. And uh, another popular result, Manny Pacquiao. I know we had a fight last night against Marquez. We won. Uh, you want news on him. Uh, it's right here. Images. So also in the news, um, you know, you as I, you probably notice these recent updates from social networks in the corner here, and this is something that um, Bing wasn't able to, um, Google wasn't able to do because Bing was the only search engine that was able to re renew its contract with Twitter around displaying live results on the home on the search engine page. So this is not a plus that um, Bing has. So moving on to one of the tabs at the top here. I already have it open over here, so let's go to Bing Shopping. So we all know shopping is one of the, you know, the, the things that we do most on the internet. 
So what Bing has done here is it's brought all these things together in a manner that would make it so much easier for you to go shopping. So they put everything in the categories, clothing, shoes, electronic, cameras, computing, brands, popular stuff. So it's an example, uh, men's clothing. Everything is so pretty much neat and clearer and just interactive. And then there is the tabs based based on whatever context you're searching for. So it generated these tabs, so there's deals. Nice lighting effect, looking smooth. And there's weekly ads. So it's probably takes you to the website, yeah. Let's go back. And then there's guides guides for the various seasons of shopping, so you know, fall season, uh, Christmas is soon approaching, and then there's stores where they get these deals and things from, and they give you uh, whether these stores support uh, free shipping or not, so it's all nice and um, laid out there for you to go straight to what you want to do. So let's go back to the home page, and next we're going to travel. And travel is another place where uh, Bing hits home runs. So, as you can see, it gives you the ability to choose um, cars, cruises, vacations, etc., etc. Um, you can arrange your flight right here, and there's so many so much details that can go into this. For example, you you arrive on departure dates, uh, amount of people traveling in the classes, uh, and then the services that they will be using to pull your flight. The, the flight fees that are available. So what it does is um, goes to all these sites and finds the prices that are most the cheapest prices to these places here. So this is from Houston to to London. So it searches. As you can see, seven twenty nine is the cheapest price to England from Houston, and that's via Lufthansa, and you can easily open this box to see whatever details um, are also connected with this and then you just select it to go to the website and um, lock down your your ticket and everything else and you have the ability to change the times to, then most likely the, the prices will change as well and select what aircraft carriers you'll be using whether it's non-stop and whatnot so it's all nice and laid out here and also what Bing has is this ability to help you make a decision on buying a ticket. It will tell you whether it's wise for you to buy the, the ticket now or you should wait and the fears will drop. So it's called a price predictor. And if you have no idea where you want to go, you just want to you know, find random places, places that might be interesting, I guess. They have this feature called a visual search. And this allows you gives you a nice clean overlay that allows you to select places that are popular for vacation in. So for example, Philippines. All transitions are so smooth. They give you a nice overview, a summary of um, what, what the Philippines is like, what it's known for, uh, romantic adventure family, etc, etc. It even gives you the weather of it right now, you know, um, maps, the top the finish, the, the, um, destinations videos, attractions, and flights. As you, can, as you can see there, even the web snippets are here. Best time to visit, December to March. And then you can easily switch to another destination here, if you're not too sure about the Philippines, how about Venice. And likewise, it gives you the same uh, information, including hotels. So yes, Bing also allows you to book hotels from right here in this same interface. So Seattle, search. As you can see, Hyatt, Lexus in to 1000. And you can create, you can make your arrangements right here rooms, how many people, 
Alright, so let's move forward. Let's go back to Bing. And next, oh, miss. let's go to entertainment. So entertainment is, is not an essential part of um, your online experience. And this is pretty much the home page for the Bing Entertainment section. But what I want to do exactly is um, specifically is to search for a specific person. So let's go to Lupe Fiasco. My favorite artist. So as usual, here is the, um, the web interface, the web results. And Bing has a feature where video auto play when you move your um your course over. So that aside, let's go to what's really uh, what really hits home here. And this is a feature that really blew me away when I first encountered it. They give you a nice, clean, interactive overview of a fiasco. And this is something you wouldn't find on Google. So you have a short bio, you can share it on Facebook. You have his recent songs, recent albums. You can easily buy it from right here. So as you scroll, you see his recent albums. Recent videos. What type of music is um, usually related to, and who is influenced by, and who has he influenced, and then his upcoming events and latest social networking activities and other news, and also his usual web snippet and images. So, again, there's sub um, cat sub menus, and you get this full biography here, or somewhat of a full biography. Then you get songs in the full on list. And what's nice is that you can play them from right here too. So just click and it brings up a mini type mini zoom player right here. And the, the features that you come to love from, from Zoom. So the features that you come to um, expect from Zoom are here too. So the, the image in the background. It's a whole nice experience and I'm glad to see Microsoft has finally realized that this is all part of the experience of, of a good experience um, in, when you search. So we'll just close it. And then you get a more detailed overview of his albums. And last but not least, certainly not least, is lyrics. And this is something that surprised me too when I saw it. You can actually see the lyrics right here, the full lyrics. So instead of having to go to Metro Lyrics or some other website, it just brings the information right there for you to get to get it. So this is pretty awesome. All right, so let's go back to Bing. And next we will do. Let's do an image search. So as you can see, they they layout everything in a nice, clean manner. So today's trending images. Uh, let's see Tom Hanks. Well, let's go to Sydney Opera House. So you can see everything is all laid out in a nice, neat manner. And a lot of these improvements that Bing has are what um, influence what you see recently with Google, including this, alt, um, this endless scrolling. And there are these different categorizations at the top there. Okay, what shall we do next? How about news? So news is um, pretty much likewise, um, as you've seen everywhere else, everything is all nice and neat and streamlined. Um, real-time results, real-time news, you have temperatures, you have the different categorizations of um, news, size, tech, etc, etc. Different quotes. So here's an example to um here's an example of a football player um with real time results right here. You can easily scroll across. And if you're searching for a new car, for example, um what Bing also does is make this process easier by putting everything in on again in a nice clean and um interactive manner so you can Compare cars easily. So boom, boom, 
Boom. Let's see how this goes. Compare the three items. So this makes the process of buying a car much easier. All the information is laid out right here, so you can see. And I guess, you know, come to conclusion which is the best value, which is which suits you the best, the most. And yep. Yeah. And last but not least, um, another feature of Bing is Bing Maps. Um, Bing Maps, of course, you know, is compared to, to Google Maps. And while it might not be as advanced as Google is yet, it's certainly getting there. Um, for example, let's search it for your address. So it makes a nice transition into the map loading. Do your normal zoom, etc., etc. Then there's your bird's eye view, of course. Panning and rotation, etc., etc. And what um, Bing also has is the ability to share these directions to a social network or to some email contact. So we can just go boom, Facebook it. And there you can post to your wall so someone can easily just click on it and go straight to the directions. So that's a pretty neat um, thing that Google doesn't have. And also there is map apps. So there are a bunch of apps that are associated with mapping. For example, where the, the gas stations are, um, different businesses are, random locations, etc., etc., transits. So these things are forever building. And what one I found pretty um, exciting was the today's front pages. So it, what it does is it brings a map of the different newspapers around America and maps them to a different part. So we just have to wait a moment for that to load up. As you can see there, you just move to the different points and you see the newspaper there and what news is in the headline. So all of this adds to a wonderful experience when you use Bing. like in Boston, this is Brockton, as you can see. And while we're at this, um, here's another feature that Bing has that makes um, your web experience even better. Um, they've, they've taken the liberty to aggregate um, websites that they think might be pop might be pretty um, interesting to you. So. There are different categories again, education, you were planning, family, finance, etc. And so I'll choose technology since that's like, attractive to me. So must read tech blogs. And they also give you the ability to add to um for you to suggest to them what are the sites you, you think you should have on this list. So for example, um I don't see the verge on this, so I suggested to them that they put the verge. Pretty new and getting popular every day. So you just go suggest whatever tech or um, blogs you know about. And while we're at that, also coming to a conclusion now, but um, I, I thought I'd show you this: how recipes um, are searched in Bing. So here's a cheesecake recipe, and they give you all these details here, such as um, the calories, the fat, the ratings. And you can also make your different specifications right in the corner here. Your occasions, your main ingredients. Let's see a three star. Let's see how this goes. All right, this takes you to a website. 
so it gives you the overlay right here overview and then you go to the website so this is pretty helpful so you can know what you're looking for before you go onto the website so this is all the things about aggregating information so you can make an informed decision um, rather than going to random links and taking a whole bunch of time to do stuff it makes um, saves so much time using Bing to do stuff like that like what I've shown you so um, of course it might not be on the same level as Google in terms of search results as yet but they're getting there they're pretty much getting there I've, I've actually switched to use Bing as my main search engine only a few times I go to use Google to do specific stuff but um, Bing has not let me down as yet so I'll keep on using it and what's interesting and what's great about Bing too is that they actually pay you to use um, they actually give you a reward for using Bing so whatever searches you do you get points and the points you can redeem you can turn into redeem prizes in this um, central location here so just type in the password for security measures and here is where you can redeem, redeem your points or giving your points so you can redeem a prize so for example I could I could get this as I have 500 56 credits I can get 100 Microsoft points for the Xbox 60 and there are different deals available in different categories so there's food and dining, gift cards, photography, electronics, special office, sweepstakes and you can even make a donation so all of this is an attractive means of um, getting you to use Bing and I, I really endorse Bing I, I think you should use it a bit um, use it more than you use it right now <laughs> and they're adding new features like pretty much every week I've seen so far <laughs> so this is Adria from Tech Bible once again and um, I hope that this is a very informi informative video and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments so thank you for watching. Bye for now.